That expression is melancholy. It's very interesting, don't you think? Hmm, yes. Well, Mr. Bobble, are we controlled? If we like him enough, we'll keep him.
Can you come in this way, probably, probably tomorrow? Now, it could well be that there is a small corner of my pocket empty hanging out of my pocket. Yes, I can just see the end. Well, see if you can get it out of my pocket without me feeling it, like the others do. Is it gone? Uh, Is, it gone? Uh, Is it gone? Yes, Mr. Bacon, look. Well, what a surprise, I must say. <laughs> you are a clever little boy. I've never seen anyone as bright as you. Here's a shilling for you. I'll have to go to the bank. Oh. Right, get to bed, you lot. We've got a hard day's work ahead of you tomorrow. Where am I to sleep, sir? Ooh, um, um, about there, I should think, Polly, then. <laughs> Have a good sleep. You will be, if you stop, go on the way you started, you're going to be the most famous person in the whole world.
izquierda. Que no es OP. Que no es OP. Si uno es Kimi, no es Oda H. Would you look at me? Would you? Ah! What are you looking at? Why are you watching me? Sorry, Sam, sorry. Why are you watching me? Speak up, speak up. Did you see where I got the black box from? I don't think so, sir. Are you sure? Quite sure. Be sure. Chris, I'm sure you'll come. <laughs> Rain boy, Oliver. Rain boy. Did you see any of those three things? Yes, sir. They're all mine, Oliver. They're all mine. That's all I've got to look after me in my old age. It's a terrible thing, old age, Oliver. Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Can I go back to sleep again now, sir? Of course, my boy. Sweet dreams, Oliver.
she's dragging you look after him. Oh, Where is she? Why did you bring him back with you? Well, if you may say something that will get us into trouble. Very likely, Fagin. Your game's up, Fagin. You're covered with blood. If the game's up for us, Bill, it's going to be a joy sight worse for you, my dear. Then he must be taken care of. Search the street and don't return without him. You will be ill again. They've been bad now for several days, but you're on the mend. Now back again, there to dear. <laughs>
you've got to get it back. Do you hear? No, it's the first time he set foot out the door. We've had that place watch for days now. He never goes out slowly, you know it. We've got to get hold of him somehow. Now, who's coming? I suppose it will have to be me. You be quiet. You've done enough damage already. It's not like someone who's got the boy's confidence. What do you say, Nancy? No, did you try to get round me? Just exactly what do you mean by that? What I say, I'm not going. Why can't you leave the boy alone? He can't do you no harm. Why can't you leave where he is where he get a chance for a decent life? To bring him back here, my girl, or else. Hey, Nancy, I'm afraid that if he talks, I think of what will happen to us. But think of what will happen to me. It'll be the gallows for him this time. She'll go, Fagin. She won't, Fagin. She will, even if I have to drag it out myself. Cook and 
soberly and come for me and go for me. Then go for me and nag at me. Her finger she would wag at me, the money she would take from me, the misery she'd make from me. I think I'd better think it out again. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? When seventy must come a time, seventy. When you're old and it's cold and who cares if you live or you die? The one consolation's the money you may have would mind. I'm reviewing the situation. I'm a bad one and a bad one I shall stay. You'll be seeing no transformation. But it's wrong to be a rogue in every way. I want nobody hurt for me or made to do the dirt for me. This rotten life is not for me. It's getting far too hot for me. There is no in-between for me, but who will set the scene for me? I want no one to rob for me, but who will find a job for me? I think I'm going to be Where's Bill? They're missing him. They're waiting for us. They must have been. 
Please, already. Come in and sit down.
gen oh, <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for supporting us and for coming this evening and being such a good audience. Uh, there are a number of people that we would like to thank. First of all, we would like to thank the parents who have been so involved in the production of this show. Uh, they have been made lots of costumes, as you can see. They have made some of us up. Some of us false parts of their body. <laughs> and uh, the, um, built the stage extension, all of which we thank them very, very much for. And the team of back room girls and boys are the members of staff who have been very busy working behind the staff this evening. Come on, everyone, give the back room girls. Our boys and girls, our inspectors here, and our governors are here, the mayor is here, our vice chairman of governors is here. So in a few minutes, I would like you to sing Oom Pa Pa in your best stock broker belt. <laughs> <laughs> you know all this <laughs> Before we do that, um, we would like to say thank you very, very much indeed to Mrs. G who has accompanied us. Thank you.
Come on then. Alan, I know what you're doing. 